What's good, guys? So we got a match right here. I'm facing Alicia, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty fun. Um, I run a bit of a different team. I run a trick room team in this, and she is going to run just a random standard team. So I am going to lead off with the Bronze Zone, and she is going to lead off with the Jellicent. She's going to go for the Shadow Ball. That's not going to do much because, well, Bronze Zone has crazy high special defense. So I go for the Trick Room, and that's going to make me faster than pretty much all of her Pokemon. And the Arcanine is going to come in and go for the Earth, and I'm going to go for the Earthquake. Because I was going to go for the Earthquake on Jellicent because it was my best bet of damaging the Jellicent. Sure, I got Gyro Ball, but Jellicent's not that fast, and it would resist it. So Earthquake was a better choice, and it manages to two-hit KO Arcanine, which is fantastic. Then she brings in Gengar. I'm going to go for this Gyro Ball, and that is going to do crazy high damage to the Gengar, which is great. And now her Umbreon comes in. I go for the Earthquake, and that's going to do a fairly decent amount considering my attack is lowered. But this Umbreon hits me with a Payback and hits me with another Payback. And now I'm going to go for the Trick Room because that Payback didn't kill me. And now I'm going to go for the Explosion because Bronze Zone is pretty much useless. And doing a massive amount of damage is better than doing barely any. So I explode and take out Umbreon. That unfortunately Bronze Zone is my only Trick Roomer for this team. Which is rather unfortunate for me. So the Dark Pulse hits me. I guess this Umbreon slower than my Metagross, which is slightly strange, but okay. We'll, we'll roll with it. And she's going to get a crazy crit. Freaking crazy crit. And I'm going to set the Stealth Rocks, and since Umbreon's out on the field and can't do much, I'm just going to make it nice and a nice stalling match and uh, set up some hazards so that in the event I need it, I have hazards up. Um, so Umbreon's gonna hit itself with the Iron Barbs, and then when I go for this Leech Seed, the Leech Seed is gonna KO it off, which is gonna be a pretty easy KO on Umbreon. Hooray. Well, guess what? Now she's gonna bring in Luxray, and I go for the Protect just to scout for the Fire Fane if she has it. But, it turns out she only has Ice Fane, so I'm not really afraid of Ice Fane, because, uh, that's gonna do more damage to her than it will to me. But I get frozen. Uh, my own barbs doesn't does activate though because of a, it being a contact move. And as you can see, it did as much damage to the Luxray as the Luxray did to me. Then the Luxray is going up for the superpower. Not really sure why superpower wasn't its first choice, but it wasn't. I am gonna get lucky though after that freeze and thaw out right pretty soon after getting frozen. Set up the first layer of spikes. Because the first layer of spikes is going to do lovely, lovely, lovely damage. And now the Luxray is going to try and freeze me again, I guess. Freeze or flinch. Because Ice Fan can also flinch. And I go for the Leech Seed to go ahead and get some health back. Because getting health back is awesome, yo. And, well, you know what? I'm getting health back, so it's all good. So now the Luxray is going to go for the Wild Charge. And hurt itself in Iron Barbs because that's what it is. This Fur Thorn is just making a really stally match. I get up my second layer of spikes. And like I said, it's pretty stally for a little bit. Because Fur Thorn can just come in and troll all over this Lux Ray. Even with the superpowers, those are slowly getting weaker. So really, I can wear this Lux Ray down pretty easily. And I get up my third and final layer of spikes. So now that I have three layers of spikes and one stealth rocks, because you can only have one stealth rocks. Uh, so I, since I have the stealth rocks and three layers of spikes, whatever comes in is going to be really, really getting hurt. And the ice vein, of course, is going to miss because of the protect. And here I go for a risky play and go for the double protect because. I can do that because I'm me and this is my Ferrothorn so I decided to tell it what to do and yeah this is a bad thing about like long stally matches 
um, is the fact that you just really kind of lose stuff to narrate on. But, you know, I'm going to be nice and put in my elect boss! Because elect boss is a boss! Because he's the boss player. He's the reason that you lost. Uh, huh. Okay, well, you know. I go for that acid spray after switching in and taking the superpower and the nice faint. Just for the LOLs and in case whatever she wanted to put in was trying to block me like the Jellicent, I was going to be able to get a special defense drop and make it pretty useless. Well now she's going to bring in this Venusaur that is going to go for the energy ball and do a little less than half. And I go for the flamethrower which is going to do a lot more than half because it KOs the Venusaur. Because you know he's a like boss! So yeah. Anyway, so we're rounding up on the final couple moves right here. I'm going to go for the Acid Spray just to weaken that special defense in case one Thunderbolt was not going to be enough. And then she's going to go for the Scowl and burn me. And I will go for the Thunderbolt and win the match. So that is going to be all. So comment, like, and subscribe because Elect Boss has won me the match okay and comment question really quick comment question what is your guys' favorite Pokemon that's what I want to know I'm gonna start doing comment questions uh, so yeah let me know what your favorite Pokemon is and we'll make it all good so see you later